Our first problem, the amount that is ordered is based on the patient's body surface area. So we read the problem. Mutamycin, 20 milligrams per meter squared, intravenously as a single dose via a functioning intravenous catheter is ordered. Mutamycin is available in a vial containing 1 milligram per 2 milliliters. You are treating a 40-year-old woman who weighs 156 pounds and is 5 foot 4 inches tall. How many milliliters of mutamycin should you administer? Well, we have an order, and I'm going to underline it, but the order is based on the patient's body surface area. So the first thing that we need to calculate is the patient's body surface area. I'm going to do this using the formula. So I take the square root of the patient's weight, 156 pounds, times their height. Now I need to have their height in inches. So I know that 5 feet is 60 inches, plus she's 5 foot 4, so an additional 4 feet means that I put 64 inches into my formula. These are English units, so I divide by 31, 31, and I do this calculation on my calculator, and I round it to the hundredths place, and I come up with a body surface area of 1.79 meters squared. Now, we're going to treat this problem just like we did with heparin. So we'll take the ordered dose that is based on this patient's body surface area and multiply it by the body surface area in order to cancel the square meters. So the order is 20 milligrams per meter squared. I'll multiply that times 1.79 meters squared and my units of meters squared will cancel. And again, I do that on my calculator and I come up with 35.8 milligrams. Now I'm ready to calculate the milliliters to administer. Problems in milliliters can be calculated using the nursing formula desired over half times quantity. You can use a proportion or you can use dimensional analysis. For this problem I'm going to use the nursing formula. My desired amount is the 35.8 milligrams that I calculated as the correct amount to give this patient. What I have on hand is what's available in my vial. So I see that given in the problem. I want the labels to cancel so I put one milligram in the denominator so milligrams cancel and I multiply times the quantity of two milliliters. And again I'm going to do that math on my calculator and I come up with the amount of 71.6 milliliters as the correct amount to administer. So to recap, our first step in this problem was to find the body surface area for the patient. Our second step in a problem is to multiply the order by the patient's body surface area so that the label of meters squared canceled and we're dealing with just a label of milligrams. Our third and final step is to use nursing formula proportion or dimensional analysis to convert milligrams into milliliters and I use the nursing formula to come up with my answer of 71.6 milliliters.